Jaunty Rhodes's Top 10 Splendid Fielding Number 10 Jaunty Rhodes' exceptional fielding skills were on full display during the Standard Bank Triangular Tournament match between India and South Africa at Centurion on October 10, 2001. In the 25th over of India's innings, Rahul Dravid played a cut shot towards point. The ball was hit hard and seemed to be heading towards the boundary. However, Rhodes had other ideas. He dived to his right, stopping the ball with his right hand. While still on the ground, he quickly got up and threw the ball towards the non-striker's end. Rhodes' fielding brilliance inspired his teammates. Number 9 Jaunty Rhodes produced another exceptional fielding performance at point during the fourth ODI of the Australia Tour of South Africa at Durban on April 5, 1997. In the 11th over of Australia's innings, Stuart Law played a cut shot towards point. He dived full length to his left, stopping the ball with his outstretched left hand. Number 8 Rhodes did produce a memorable fielding performance at point during the second ODI which was played at Johannesburg on January 31, in 1997. Guy Whittall played a square cut towards point. Rhodes dived full length to his left, stopping the ball with his both hand. He then quickly got up and threw the ball towards the wicketkeeper's end. Number 7 Jaunty Rhodes' most memorable fielding performance at point came during the sixth match of the Mandela Trophy between South Africa and New Zealand at Centurion on December 11, 1994. In the 29th over of New Zealand's innings, their wicketkeeper, Adam Parori, played a square drive towards point. He dived full length to his right, stopping the ball with his right hand. He then quickly turned and threw the ball towards the non-striker end. Number 6 Jaunty Rhodes' best fielding moment in the third ODI of the Australia Tour of South Africa in Cape Town on April 2, 1997. Ian Healy played a back foot drive shot towards the point region. The ball looked destined for the boundary, but Rhodes, fielding at point, had other ideas. He sprinted to his right, dived full length and plucked the ball out of the air with his right hand. In the same motion, he landed on the ground, turned and threw the ball towards the stumps at the non-striker's end. Number 5 Jaunty Rhodes' another best fielding moment in the third ODI of the Australia Tour of South Africa in the 17th over of Australia's innings Michael Bevan played a back foot drive shot towards the point region. But Rhodes, he sprinted to his right, dived full length and plucked the ball out of the air with his right hand. Number 4 Jaunty Rhodes produced another memorable fielding performance at point during the South Africa vs Zimbabwe fourth match at Newlands, Cape Town in 1997. In the 11th over of Zimbabwe's innings, Andy Flower played a fierce square cut towards point. The ball was hit hard and looked like it would beat the fielder. However, Rhodes had other ideas. He dived full length to his left, stopping the ball with his left hand. He then quickly got up and threw the ball towards the non-striker's end. Number 3 During the fifth test of the West Indies Tour of South Africa at Centurion on January 15, 1999, in the 35th over of the West Indies' first innings, Carl Hooper drove the ball hard towards point. Rhodes had other ideas. He dived full length to his left, stopping the ball with his both hand. He then quickly got up, turned and threw the ball towards the non-striker end and also it showcased his exceptional athleticism and fielding abilities. Number 2 Jaunty Rhodes produced another exceptional fielding performance at point during the fourth ODI of the Australia Tour of South Africa at Durban on April 5, 1997. In the 14th over of Australia's innings, Michael Bevan played a cut shot towards point. He dived full length to his right, stopping the ball with his outstretched right hand. In the same motion, he got up and threw the ball back towards the stumps at the non-striker's end. Number 1 The third test match of the England Tour of South Africa in December 1995 at Durban is remembered for Jaunty Rhodes' outstanding fielding at point. It happened in the first over of England's first innings when Atherton played a back foot punch off South African fast bowler, Sean Pollock. The ball seemed to be going past point, 
but Rhodes dived full length to his right and stopped the ball with his outstretched right hand. 